In this video, I'll um, present the new features in Solid Inspector 2.1. Um, currently, I have Solid Inspector 2.0 on my screen. And as you see now, on this model, it takes a while before it's finished processing. And it'll say that it's four reverse faces. Now, this is incorrect. This model actually only have two. But the uh, algorithm to detect reverse faces in 2.0 is flawed, and in several cases, is uh, flags false positives. Now I have the same model in 2.1, and when I start Solid Inspector, you can see it comes up instantly, and it correctly. Um, lists the only two reversed faces, that's it, so that's correct. Um, new feature is that Solid Inspector now warns you about short edges. By default it will uh, warn about any edge that's less than three millimeters. If this is too um, coarse setting for you, you can easily change it from um, the menu. Um, I have it actually set on one millimeter right now. If I set it to back to the default, you'll see it have a good number of more errors to show. They're not really errors, um, but short edges can produce calculations, uh, calculation problems um, in various SketchUp functions and uh, extensions. So you want to be aware of small edges like this. These this edge would be preferable to to take all of the this triangle and merge it to one point instead. Um, just to produce a cleaner model and cleaner mesh. Um, the Edges in, in SketchUp, when they become small and about one millimeter, you start getting seeing unexpected results. So, this view is just a precaution. You can turn it off if you want, if uh, short edges doesn't bother you. Um, another improvement is that. You can now tab through the different errors that's in the model. Um, you could do that previously as well, but it didn't have this little circle, and it was very hard to actually see uh, where the errors, error was. Solid Inspector 1 actually had these circles, but they were all over the screen, and they were removed in 2.0, but in 2.1, it's reintroduced for the current error. Um, if I zoom out, I can use the arrow keys, and you can see the little circle move, and that's the currently selected error. So, if I want to zoom to that one, press enter, or return, and the camera will jump. If I press tab, it will skip to the next one automatically, and zoom. Um, additionally, you can click on the short edges label, and right, there's a new function here. But I need to open up the group, and I can do select entities and then exit. And you can see it's selected the two uh, short edges. Um, if I click them individually, you see they, these are half a millimeter and nearly a millimeter long. Um, it makes it easier sometimes if you want to actually get hold of the entities you're trying to locate. Um, well, you can also right click outside of any of the short edges warnings and 
select entities related to the different types of errors. You can select all of them. You can see it selected the stray edges, which is also hidden by the way. Um, or you can choose to select only a particular type of error. So now I have selected the two faces. Um, so I could then manually, if I wanted, reverse the faces, and if I turn it back on, it's fixed. Although, it's just as easy to click the big f fix button. So that's it for Solid Inspector 2.1. Um, I have Solid Inspector 2.2 planned, which is going to have some even better improvements. So um, stay tuned.